When choreographers want to create a new work, they obviously need music. And there's three ways that music can be put together with choreography. You can find a piece of music as a choreographer that inspires you and decide to use that piece of music. You can have a piece of music written and have a dance created and not have the two meet until rehearsal on stage. Or you can have the third way, and that is the commissioned work. And that's what we have with Wizard of Oz. And that, these days, is a rarity. Two reasons. It's expensive, and you really don't know what you're going to get. Will you like what the composer comes up with? We're very fortunate. We like it. It's delightful music. Now, because you have that wonderful relationship with the choreographer and with the composer, they can be working together till the very last second. And that's also what's happening here. Septim Weber is here. He is the director of Hong Kong Ballet and he flew in from Hong Kong and we're in our final push. Well, um, I think Matthew Pierce, the composer, is sitting by the phone. Because every night when Septim finishes rehearsal, he's calling Matthew and telling him, I need more music here, I need less here, can you put in a repeat? And Matthew is changing the score for him, as well as sending him a revised file of music that he can use for rehearsal the next day. The music is a, a brand new score by Matthew Pierce and uh, we've been rehearsing to a CD in the studio um, that he has recorded only on violin. And so when we get to the theater, it will be a full orchestra. So what we've been rehearsing to and what we've been choreographing to is gonna sound completely different, um, but what we've heard so far is quite incredible. So it'll be really, really interesting and, and a brand new score for everybody to enjoy. Working on a full-length ballet with new music is distinct from creating any other kind of ballet. We really started with a blank page and I sat down with the composer over several sessions and we just worked through what each character might be like and what the musical sort of vibe might be for various moments. We are very fortunate in Kansas City that we have a wonderful symphony orchestra that we can perform with. Interesting thing about um, having a commission, you also means you have a live composer, which for someone who deals in a 19th century art form, it doesn't happen all that often. So I've enjoyed being able to get on the phone and actually speak with him. And um, the real pleasure will be having him here during theater week. He'll be over my shoulder during orchestra rehearsals. And I'll be very glad for that um, so that I know exactly what he wants and we can give him exactly what he wants and make that performance and that opening the best it can be. I'm very fortunate and that this is the second time I've gotten to premiere a brand new full length ballet. That doesn't happen very often. I can tell you from the last time that I had systemic goosebumps. Um, I gave the downbeat for the first note. The, co the composer and the orchestrator were in the house. And none of us, I mean, you're looking at the page, you hear it in your head, but none of us knows what that's really going to be until you give the downbeat. And I'm looking forward to that moment. Um, it's always exciting.